Hey guys, it's Thomas. So, when I first got my Creality CO10 3D printer, I printed a um, nozzle upgrade by Nexitech because I heard the one that was included was crap. So I printed it, and I seem to have been having cooling issues. So I haven't replaced it since then in the like five months I've had my printer. So I've decided to print a new one. So like when I looked at the Nexitech nozzle a few days ago, I'm like, Oh my gosh, this is crap. So, let's get this thing off the print bed. And, Rover, I hung up the X-Wing, as you, if you may have noticed. Let's get this thing off the print bed. So, let's get this thing off the print bed. Let's move the thing forward. I'll reposition the camera so you can see a little better. The, I don't know, I can't remember who it was by on um, Thingiverse. Hopefully, it looks good. Sorry about that. So, let's get this thing off the print bed. Get the spatula under there. That looks off easy. Okay, so now let's get this thing installed. So we're gonna need a few tools. Um, I can't remember who designed this on Thingiverse, but it's a tool holder for the tools that come with your CO10. Uh, and it says Creality CO10. Um, I'll put the link in the description if you wanna print it. But we're gonna need this wrench here. So I'm gonna place the camera down so you can see me installing this. So, maybe I'll put it on the quick bed. Not with my little mini tripod. Sorry about that little mishap. Let me zoom in a little. So, you've got a CO10 thing. I think let's move the Z axis up a bit. So, let's get your smallest wrench. I'm going to want to. Take off this. I am um, taking off the Nexitech one. My great designer and all, but design not so great. <laughs> You're gonna take both of them off. Then you should be easily able to take the thing off. See, it's coming off. Quite dusty. If you guys wanna get some filament. I'd highly recommend the colors white and blue. You're going to use them a lot. Trust me. Then the other colors you're not going to use so much. So, as you can see, quite dusty. A little better. Okay. Now let's install this new one. So, you just take the print and literally put it up like that. It should fit like perfectly yeah it fits and it'll go around your 3d printer nozzle but I mean I keep the old print in case this doesn't work so I'm just gonna screw it on with these teeny little like M1 screws I'm guessing yeah I think these are literally M1 screws Tea. Tighten it up. Okay. This is be actually blowing on the part. Huh. So let's get this thing a test out. As you can see, it's a ground style nozzle. So let's get this thing. A so I printed a few things with my upgrade so far. I printed an Omnom by Sparky Face 5, and it looks a lot better, especially on the overhangs. It's printed a lot better. I printed a Pikachu. This looks a lot better than previous prints. And I've printed some bugs. They're cool prints. They print in like this um, at 60 millimeters, having 0.2 rail height. These print in like 13 minutes. No joke. And they're just little quips. I might do a video on these. That they're kind of cute. You just squish them and they open their mouth. So, as I said, the overhangs look a lot better. As there's like overhangs on all the overhangs, there's only little teeny artifacts on random spots, and those random spots are very uncommon. So, this upgrade has been totally worth it for my 3D printer because I'm getting better overhangs. So, I hope you like this video. 
be sure to smash that like button. If you're not already subscribed, click that subscribe button. Um, click to enable notifications so you can get notified of any new uploads. Bye!